Good evening, Facebook Live. It's got to be somewhere around 10 o'clock. Going non-stop today. I think I went to bed like around quarter to 12 last night. Woke up at 4 o'clock. This is what happened about two and a half years ago. Kept getting waking up in the middle of the night between 2 and 4 o'clock. If that is you, know you're being called forward. Hope you guys had a great day today. What's today? Wednesday. Hump day here. Had a long, long day. I went out bright and early this morning. I got some great insights for you men, you husbands, you boyfriends out there. I got some super duper insights I want to share with you this evening to how to give your girl, give your woman, give your significant other the attention she deserves. So I had a powerful, powerful insight this morning. As you saw this morning, Georgia, good to see you. As you saw this morning, I had the uh, bright and early meditation out in the back deck. There was like this fog in the air. It was like misting me, almost like you're being blessed out there. And then uh, I went down to grocery shopping at seven o'clock. Came back here and then I, I did a super special. This is gonna be good for you guys. You're gonna like this one for your girls. I shared a couple of the insights with some of the guys on the inner circle call. So the brothers in the brotherhood, great inner circle call today. Thank you very much for all the insights as usual. That's been a good three years in the making, getting on those calls every single Wednesday. I see a bunch of people logging in here, but I do not see the names down below. But I'll check it out. So here we go. Shower is looking good. We have our little holders up there for shampoo and all this stuff in here as well is going to be getting waterproofed. So over here we have our... I was testing that out, make sure that fit on there. Got tile going on top of there. There's gonna be just enough room on that cover right there to fit in that thing. So this is how you do a custom shower. You see we got the floor pan right there. There's the tile that we're gonna be using right there. And we got the soap dispenser and the shampoo holder over here. And the rest of that sheetrock and stuff will patch that all in. Sheetrock on the outside over here. We'll paste that in there. And then we're gonna get some glass shower doors on this thing. This thing will be up and running in no time. So tomorrow I'm gonna waterproof this whole thing. I'll show you guys tomorrow what you use for the waterproofing to make sure water doesn't get through any of this stuff. But everything's all sealed up nicey nice. So let me talk about what came through this morning. I've never heard this word before, euphoric love. So <laughs> you saw me out there this morning. I posted that video of all the birds chirping around five o'clock or something like that. And all of a sudden, I went deep into this meditation, and the voice said, euphoric love. I said, what is that? So I had to go look it up. Right? So, you know, yesterday, I went and looked that up. So euphoria is, all right, all right, we'll have a couple of notes here for you guys. It's the feeling or state of intense excitement or happiness. So when I read that, I was thinking about the... Uh, all the things that people do out there, James Clapp, to try and get to that state of euphoria, right? That's almost like when you're a little kid at Christmas time, you can't sleep because you're waiting for Santa Claus to come down the chimney. And then I was thinking about ecstasy and all that stuff that kids were doing. And then they went from cocaine and all these drugs that people take to get themselves to that euphoric state. But the reality is you can get there by your thoughts. And I know we shared this probably about eight weeks ago, talking about the chemical cocktail that you can release in your brain if you so choose based upon your thoughts. So I had a super long day today. I'm gonna be getting out of here quickly tonight. I wanna give you some deep, deep insights on this. So here's what I did. So I went down and did some grocery shopping after I was thinking about that euphoric love and I looked up the definition of euphoria. When I came back, I stopped at the store, I got I took Kathy's car. She was going to an appointment today. I filled her up with gas. So she was going to stop and get gas in the morning. Then I went and got her some scratch-off tickets. Then I bought her flowers. Then I came home and she went to the shower. I set all that stuff on the staircase coming down. So when she came down from the shower, she got to see all those things. Then while she was getting ready to go to her appointment, I went outside. I ripped everything out of her car. Everything. I even aired up the spare tire. For you guys that don't have any checking of your spare tires, check your spare tire. We've never checked her spare tire. Guess what? 15 pounds of pressure in that spare tire. 
And she, God forbid, if she ever had to go get a flat tire, I don't know if she'd be able to make it to the next gas station to air that thing up. I think that was Rob Hawk logging in, right? I can't see anybody logging in except for James and George, but I can see you guys around here, but for some reason it's not coming through. We have some weird internet down here. So then, so check this out. So now I rip everything out of her car. I do a complete detail of the inside. I pull out the power washer, do a complete wash of the outside. Oh, it's Rebecca. Good to see you, Rebecca. I do a complete wash of the outside. So guys, euphoric love. And what I just realized right before I came on the Facebook Live here, what the euphoric love was, was that shower her with the attention, random acts of kindness. Uh, if you haven't got the book, The Five Love Languages, I'd highly recommend getting that book because women love attention. They love spontaneous, spur of the moment. Things just, for no reason, just got her flowers. No reason, got her gas in her car. For no reason, got her scratch-offs. And guess what? She won 10 bucks on her scratch-off. So now she has that anchor for all that beautiful things that got done for her today. And then a friend of ours ended up stopping over. They go, oh, Kathy, you look great. Look, look at all the stuff you guys got going on with your garden, all that stuff. So all that thing created euphoric love. That's where we all want to get to. How do we all get to that euphoric love state? I mean, you don't, you don't need drugs to get there. You don't need alcohol to get there. Some of you say you might need sex to get there. You don't need any of that stuff. You need the right mindset to release all those chemicals, that chemical cocktail, serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, and all those things. You can pour that into your system. That is the ecstasy. That is the euphoric love. What else did I write down here for you guys today? Oh, definitely air up your spare tire. I'm going to reiterate that because... I've never checked her spare tire in her car. So as I'm taking everything out of her car, I said, you know what? I've never looked at her spare tire. When I got my tire gauge, I checked it out. And sure enough, that thing was flat. 15 pounds was in that. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was if you cannot get to that euphoric state, that means you're operating from ego. And ego is a sense of self-esteem. You are important. Yeah, right there. You're important how I know you are here. What the heck does that mean? Person's sense of self-esteem, self-importance. Oh, that's what it was. So a person's sense of self-esteem and self-importance, that's the ego. It's all about self, right? But I wrote down here is that if you are here, that is your importance. You are here, right here, right now. You are significant. You do have self-importance. Because many people did not wake up this morning. But you are here. So euphoric love. How do you get to that state? One day at a time. Keep letting go of the ego. Keep tapping and surprising your significant others. Do something to feed yourself. Do something that you truly enjoy. And it's 10 p.m. Do you know where you are this evening, Eastern time. So today's message, egoic love, go out there and su surprise your spouse, surprise your wife, surprise your significant other. Do something that's random, they're not expecting it. That will release those chemical cocktails into her or his brain to know that you truly love them and we're thinking about them without any attachment. And that is the gift. Have a blessed and fantastic evening. I am exhausted. I've been going 17 hours straight. I'm going straight to bed. i got a couple things to take care of. And that'll be it. I'll be up again in the morning, Mary. We're going to go do this again. We'll have the shower all tied up. So you guys just log it on here. So check it out. So here we go. We got the custom-made shower all set. They got the floor pan in there. That's up there. It's going to be our holders for our shower. Uh, caddy and all that good stuff with shampoos and soaps. I got that first coat on here. This whole thing, well, I think it's a red in color tomorrow. I'm gonna to paint this whole thing red to seal it all up so nothing gets into any of those screw holes, nothing gets into any of those cracks. And then we'll go ahead and get our glass shower doors on here and this thing's gonna be beautiful. And then when I get in there, my elbows won't be hitting the walls, won't be hitting the shower curtain, especially in the cold months when everybody has shower curtain blows up from the steam and it goes and sticks me crazy. I don't want any of that stuff on me. I want to be able to stretch out in that shower and take a nice hot shower and let it steam up like a like a big sauna. 
You deserve a nice hot shower. You deserve all, all, euphoric love. You deserve all of life's blessings. But you first have to let go of the small self. Self-importance, you are important. No one has to validate you. Validate yourself. Validate yourself. You are the MVP of your life. You are the MVP of your life. Nobody else has to validate that for you. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. And when it's all said and done together, we will rise as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed and fantastic evening.